But we have been reporting all week on the delay when it comes to nursing home deaths due to COVID-19 being reported to the county and the state. And tonight we are getting our first look at the information just released by the state. Tonya Side Steve Brown looks at which local nursing homes are dealing with the highest death rates. For the very first time since the pandemic was recognized within the borders of New York State, the state health department has released a list of COVID related fatalities by individual nursing home and three of those nursing homes are in Erie County. They are the Garden Gate nursing home in Cheektowaga with 11 fatalities. It is owned by the McGuire group, as is Harris Hill in Lancaster with nine deaths attributed to COVID-19. And then there is Father Baker Manor in Orchard Park. That facility run by Catholic Health has had six people die from the coronavirus. Nursing homes are regulated by state government, but during the pandemic, COVID case data has been shared with Erie County government. Today, County Executive Mark Polencars said generally he favors more information about the virus be shared with the public. Uh, I certainly uh, believe that the more information and accurate that can come out from a facility, the better. Uh, I don't have the firsthand knowledge of being in the facility. I've talked to a couple of facility administrators uh, who've also said part of their problem is they're taking in uh, COVID-19 elderly patients who may not have been in that facility beforehand. That falls in line with a recent state health department order that a nursing home cannot refuse admission to someone who may be COVID positive. A few things about the data released today by the health department about fatalities in nursing homes. First of all, it is incomplete. It does not include nursing homes that have had four or fewer fatalities. Also, it is sort of jumbled as a picture. It includes fatalities, which are both residents that had a positive COVID test and those that did not have a test but had COVID symptoms. The state health department says it will sort those two categories out in later releases. In Buffalo, Steve Brown. Channel 2 News.